fall is almost upon us, and that means it's time to prep your plants for cooler weather. Who better to help us than one of Nashville's leading horticulturalists, Brooks O'Brien, who also happens to be the lead horticulturalist at one of my favorite vacation destinations, Gaylord Opryland. Welcome, Brooks. We are so glad to have you out here. We love having our guests come and let us talk about all of the plants we have out here at Opryland. I think all of us have become amateur gardeners in this sure. time of quarantine. You said there's three helpful tips for getting ready for fall and winter. And the first of those is cutting back and cleaning up. What does that mean? A lot of people don't understand that whenever the plants start to wither and, and fall back for the winter, that material needs to go to the compost pile. Oh. One, when it comes down and lands in the flower bed itself, it can harbor pests, will overwinter underneath, and also there's some disease and some bacteria that may overwinter underneath that. All right, let me see what you got. Oh, like wow! After that, you also talk about pr protecting and preparing. What, what goes into that? A lot of people will take pictures of their flower bed or their shrub bed before they do away with everything so they can remember where it is. Smart. Because a lot of people will plant pansies or, or violas to overwinter, and you don't want to plant those right on top of what you've just taken care of. Um, another thing is that people will put bulbs in the ground during the fall and early winter. That way they're prepared for when the spring comes. The final is to plan ahead for the next season. How do we even start doing that? Right. A lot of that is when you can bring in new soil, fresh mulch. People use the shredded bark mulch or the pine straw and it gets things ready for the spring. Another thing that you can do is plant trees and some different shrubs because it gives the winter time enough for the roots to start taking place so they'll be ready for the spring whenever the, they start to leaf out. It's so amazing and it's always 72 degrees inside of Opryland so you're really able to grow some things you might not normally see in this area of the country. What, what are some of those? This is the teddy bear palm. Oh my goodness. And whoever discovered this thought that small fuzz that's on there reminded him of his daughter's teddy bear, so he named it the teddy bear palm. Love it. One of the neat things about it is, is if you discover it or you hybridize it, you get to name it. You could name it the Sammy Cone Diffenbachia. Yes, I could. Of course I could. Anything that you find, <laughs> you can do. One of the other really, really neat plants mm -hmm. that we have over here is the Alocasia. Wow. And I thought what I would do is fan you oh, yes. because you deserve to be fan. Please, please. I've been waiting for this all my life, Brooks. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you, Brooks, for walking us through. Appreciate having you here. I can't wait to go explore more of the gardens here. Let's go. Okay. I'm using my self-guided garden tour that I downloaded on my phone to find some of the unique plants here at Gaylord Opryland. I'm looking for the zombie palm and I found Brooks. Hey, Sammy. Is this the zombie palm? This is the zombie palm. Okay. This is one of the very unique plants that our horticulturists love to talk about with the guests. It's native to Haiti. It's also native to Dominican Republic. And one of the really interesting things is, is the spines that you see on the zombie palm are used in voodoo. Oh, so if I have some pain later, I'll know what's going on. You'll know where it came from. <laughs> we are still going to go ahead and go through with our Christmas program that we've got. Our exterior horticulture folks, they've been outside for the last few weeks going ahead and installing all the multiple millions of lights that we put up. This fall, guests are invited to Gaylord Opryland Resort to experience a fall vacation like no other because now through October 31st, you can experience goblins and giggles. That's right, right here at Gaylord Opryland, Goblins and Giggles offers everything from scavenger hunts featuring Spookly the Square Pumpkin, trick-or-treating trails, even spooky animal encounters. You can buy family experience packages, including a one-night stay at the resort, two scavenger hunt booklets, and four passes on the Delta River flatboat. And now there are three ways to experience sound waves. Gaylord Opryland's 
upscale indoor outdoor water attraction. Tennessee residents can book an overnight package which includes Soundwaves passes for the family. You can also rent a party room to bring friends and family in or for a limited time, you can get a Tennessee resident day pass valid select Monday through Thursday. With so many ways to chill and thrill, I hope you'll join us at Soundwaves soon.